Dear Anjuman members and guests, on behalf of the Board of Directors, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all to the Anjuman video for 2021. Um, needless to say, this is hardly a replacement for an in-person um, meeting that we had planned. However, we thought it imperative to use whichever means we had available to us for us to have the opportunity to celebrate together um, during these unprecedented times. Um, we have therefore prepared a short video um, for you to view with your friends and for your with your family to honor the special occasion with a wonderful and prestigious line of speakers um, and performers, um, starting with The Cultural Significance of Yalda by Dr. Sabha Shayani. He's the senior lecturer in Persian language at the University of Oxford. He will then be followed by a recitation of Fala Hafez by Mr. Mahmoud Haydari, senior business consultant and fellow Anjuman member. Um, and then will be followed by the performance of Mikhom Beramku by Daria Akhavan Zanjani. I hope that you enjoy watching whilst eating delicious nuts and fruits and making good wishes while celebrating the end of autumn um, and its long nights and the welcoming of the rebirth of the sun of Mitra, the goddess of light. We wish you warm wishes, peace and happiness for the festive season. And we look forward to seeing you all in person in 2022. Thank you so much, Aida John. And my thanks to the members of the Board of Andraman um, for inviting me tonight is the rebirth of light, as Aida John noted. So Yalda, or Shabet Chelle, as it is also known, falls on the 30th of the month of Azar, which is the last of the autumnal months in the Iranian calendar, which correlates usually to December 20th or 21st. It marks the winter solstice, as uh, all of you know, I'm sure. It is also the longest night of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. So Shabe Yalda or Shabe Chelle, um, in a way, there are two different things that come together in one. Um, as far as Shabe Chelle is concerned, there are three Chelles in the Iranian calendar, two in the winter, one in the summer. The two in the winter um, fall on, there is the greater Chelle that falls on the first of day and lasts 40 days until the 11th of Bahman. So that's the 20th or 21st of December until the 30th of January. And then there's the lesser Chelle which follows it for 20 days and 20 nights. Shabe Chelle falls on the first night of this greater Chelle. But um, Shabe Chelle is also known as Shabe Yalda, and Yalda is the Syriac word for birth. It's actually related to the Persian Arabic word, which many of you know, Milad. Um, and it is known as the night of the birth because it marks the night of the birth of Mitra or Mitra or Mehr in New Persian. Mitra was the one of the gods of the Zoroastrian uh, religion and his roots actually go back to even pre-Zoroastrianism. Uh, He's originally one of the gods of the Indo-Iranians uh, linked with Varuna. Um, but in Zoroastrianism, Mitra becomes, in a way, a lesser god, and he is a creation of Ahura Mazda, who's the great god, the wise lord. And in Zoroastrianism, Mitra is the god of pacts and covenants, and by dint of that, then the god of light also. Um, so as I mentioned, Mitra is one of the Izads, or the gods of the Zoroastrian tradition. Um, whose roots are in pre-Zoroastrian Indo-Iranian traditions. Um, he is the god of covenants and pacts. He is the protector of order and truth. And his greatest responsibility is monitoring or observing all pacts and promises. He is the enemy of any who break these promises, and, but he is infinitely compassionate and kind to all those who keep their word. Um, as you know, in the Zoroastrian culture, in Zoroastrian traditions and in Iranian culture, light is seen as the force of good and darkness is seen as the forces of Ahriman, the forces of evil. And this is where the traditions of Shabe Yalda come into play. Because it is the longest night of the year, it's seen as the time when the forces of evil are, are at their greatest uh, strength and power. And this is why it is in Iranian tradition that we all gather together at this night to be together with our 
friends and family. And we spend this longest night of the year in celebration with one another, keeping the powers of darkness and evil at bay with uh, rejoicing, rejoicing in each other's company, with poet, reciting poetry, with eating various foods that symbolize different things such as watermelons that symbolize good health for the coming year, especially for the summer season, pomegranates, ajil, as all of you are aware, mixed nuts and dried fruits. Um, and traditionally, it was that uh, the family and the friends would sit around a corsi, which is this uh, table that under it a fire is ignited and over it a tablecloth is spread. And everyone sits around this and spends the night in each other's company through this. And it is this night that is believed to be the night when, as I was saying, the dark forces of darkness are at work. But with the coming of the dawn, with the coming of the day, the forces of Mitra and of goodness avenge the forces of darkness. They win over the forces of darkness. And once again, again, day starts and Mitra is born again and the days begin to become longer and longer. As Mitra is the god of light, in addition to the god of pacts and covenants, he is eventually equated with the sun as well. And therefore, uh, Shabe Yalda, in a way, also becomes the commemoration of the birth of the sun itself. Um, some of the traditions of Shabe Yalda, in addition to the uh, staying up with family and telling stories and reciting different poetry, is also uh, setting up a Sofreya Shabe Yalda, which is similar in some ways to Sofreya Half Seen, um, but has various elements on it, such as, like we were saying, watermelons and, and pomegranates and so on. Another uh, very important tradition of Shabe Yalda is the concept of bibliomancy, or in Persian as we call it, falgiri. And this is done with the divan of Hafez, the, co uh, the compilation of the poetry of Hafez. And what Iranians do is that they will make a niyat, they will make in a way a wish or ask a question from Hafez, and with their eyes closed they will open the divan of Hafez to a certain page, and find the end of the poem uh, on the page and go to the beginning of it on the previous page and read that poem to themselves. And that poem is supposed to be Hafez's response to the seeker for his question or his request. This is to be done no more than three times, however, as it is believed that the poet might get angry if done so. So on this note, I will hand it off to Mr. Heydari, who will recite a beautiful poem. گل در بر و می در کف و معشوب به کام است سلطان جهانم به چنین روز غلام است دو شم میارید در این جمع که امشب در مجلس ما ماه رخ دوست تمام است در, در مذهب ما باده حلال است ولی کن ای روی تو ای سر و گلندام حرام است گوشم همه بر بول نی و نغمه چنگ است چشمم همه بر لعل لب و گردش جام است در مجلس ما عطر میامیز که ما را هر لحظه دگی سوی تو خوشبو تمام است از چاشنی قند مگو هیچ و از شکر زنلو که مرا از لب شیرین تو کام است تا گنج غمت در دل ویران مقیم است همواره مرا گوی خرا کوی خرابا مقام است از ننگ چه گویی که مرا نان زننگ است و از نام چه پرسی که مرا ننگ زنام است میخاره و سرگشته و رندی و نظر باز اون کس که چما نیست در این شهر کدام است با محتسبم عید مگویید با محتسبم عید مگویید که او نیست پیوست چما در طلب ایش مدام است حافظ منشین بیمه و معشوق زمانی که یام گل و یاسمن و 
عید سیام است مطلع شعر رو معمولا میخونن اولین سطر شعر بعدی اینو میگن به کوی میکده هر سالکی که ره دانست دری دگر زدن اندیشه تبه دانست به کوی میکده هر سالکی که ره دانست دری دگر زدن اندیشه تبه دانست زمانه افسر رندی ندار جز به کسی که سرفرازی عالم در این کله دانست بسیار متشکرم میخوام برم کو شکار آهو میخوام برم کو شکار آهو تو فنگ من کو لیلی جان تو فنگ من کو آه تو فنگ من کو لیلی جان تو فنگ من کو بالای بومی کفتر پرمونی بالای بومی کفتر پرمونی شستت به نازم لیلی جان خوب می پرونی آش شستت به نازم لیلی جان خوب می پرونی روی چما لیلی جان چشم سیاحت آه برده دل از من لیلی جان چشم سیاحت اگر چند باشد شب دیریاز برو تیرگی هم نماند دراز شود روز چون چشمه روشن شود جهان چون نگین بدخشان شود Though the long night may be arduous, its darkness shall not last forever. Day will come. It will be like a shimmering spring. And the world will again shine like the glimmering gems of Badakhshan. Yalda Shodbod. Maashiran gireh az zuhiyar baaz kunid. Shabi khush az. Ngissash diraz kunid. یلده شاد باد یلده شاد باد یه شب طولانی کنار اونایی که دوستشون داری و دوست دارن و تو خوشحالی جای یه چند تا مسافر قدیمی پیش ما خالی آخ تو شب یلده منی دیوونه یه دوست داشتنی لبای تو رنگ اناره و هندونه شیری میشکم یاره بیش بوسه های تو که قم نداره قم نداره قم نداره آخ تو شب یلدای منی دیوونه یه دوست داشتنی لبای تو رنگ اناره و هندونه شیری نیشکم میاره بیش بوسه های تو که جنس یاره جنس یاره جنس یاره تو مثل بارونی تو دل مهمونی دلم و دلم و دلم میمیره واسه تو که جونی تو این شب یلدا که نمیشه فردا دلم و دلم و دلم میره با تو تا ته رویا آخ تو شب یلدای منی دیبونی های مستاشنی لبای تو رنگ هناره با اندونه شیرینیشم میاره میشه بوسه های تو که غم نداره غم نداره آخت و شب یلدای منی دیوونه یه دوست داشتنی 
لبای تو رنگ اناره و هندونه شیری میشکم میاره پیش پوسه های تو که جنس یاره جنس یاره جنس یاره آخ تو شب یلای منی